and environment sustainability. Powered by world-class research and development facilities and experts, Bharat Petroleum is continuously contributing by creating new technologies, niche products and future capabilities for business growth. Bharat Petroleum's group refineries, compliant with all global standards and safety and quality, have a combined capacity of 35.3 mm TPA. With the start of commercial production in propyl and derivative petrochemical complex in Kochi refinery, BPCL joins leaders in the production of niche petrochemicals. Bharat Petroleum's widespread network of fuel stations provides reliability, convenience, and delightful experience to its customers. Enabled with technology, the next-gen Pure for Sure promise extends beyond the quality and quantity assurance into digital offerings, value-added benefits, and futuristic tech-enabled infrastructure. Smokeless villages to cheerful homes. The massive distribution network of Bharat Gas has been a trusted and preferred choice of millions of households, providing LPG for cooking. Bharat Petroleum's world-class range of MAC lubricants for automobiles as well as for industrial applications is one of the most reputed brands. With a strong presence in 12 countries in Asia, Africa and the Middle East, MAC Lubricants is an undisputed market leader in Nepal, holds highest market share amongst Indian OMCs in Bangladesh and top 5 lubricant brands in Sri Lanka. Powering global mobility, PPCL Aviation Service is a mark of excellence and trust. PPCL's countrywide storage, filling and distribution infrastructure is equipped with modern technology, latest international safety and environmental certifications. As India is rapidly scaling up to become a self-reliant economy with constant improvement in processes and efficiencies, BPCL's industrial and commercial business is energizing this growth to domestic and international clientele. In automobiles, mining, electricity, manufacturing, transportation and other sectors in a highly competitive environment. BPRL has participating interest in 10 blocks located in India and 10 overseas. The recording in progress by BPRL and its subsidiaries is around 23,749 kilometers of which approximately 45% is offshore. To participate in fast-growing gas-based economy, BPCL is expanding its city gas distribution business in 37 geographical areas. Bharat Petroleum embarked upon a comprehensive digitalization journey through Project Anubhav, which enhances business process efficiencies, improves supply chain transparency, bolsters BPCL's marketing skills, and provides unified view of the customer to BPCL. For as the customer changes, so does customer service, as do we at Bharat Petroleum. Bharat Petroleum, a fully integrated multinational energy company, is operating across the hydrocarbon value chain through continuous innovation, emphasis on energy efficiency, and environment sustainability. Powered by world-class research and development facilities and experts, Bharat Petroleum is continuously contributing by creating new technologies, niche products and future capabilities for business growth. Bharat Petroleum's group refineries, compliant with all global standards and safety and quality, have a combined capacity of 35.3 mm TPA. With the start of commercial production in propyl and derivative petrochemical complex in Kochi refinery, BPCL joins leaders in the production of niche petrochemicals. Bharat Petroleum's widespread network of fuel stations provides reliability, convenience and delightful experience to its customers. Enabled with technology, the next-gen Pure for Sure promise extends beyond the quality and quantity assurance into digital offerings, value-added benefits, and futuristic tech-enabled infrastructure. Smokeless villages to cheerful homes. 
the massive distribution network of Bharat Gas has been a trusted and preferred choice of millions of households, providing LPG for cooking. Bharat Petroleum's world-class range of MAC lubricants for automobiles as well as for industrial applications is one of the most reputed brands. With a strong presence in 12 countries in Asia, Africa and the Middle East, MAC Lubricants is an undisputed market leader Please in Nepal, who holds highest market share amongst Indian OMCs I, in I, 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 and top five lubricant brands in Sri Lanka. Powering global mobility, PPCL Aviation Service is a mark of excellence and trust. PPCL's countrywide storage, filling and distribution infrastructure is equipped with modern technology, latest international safety and environmental certifications. As India is rapidly scaling up to become a self-reliant economy with constant improvement in processes and efficiencies, BPCL's industrial and commercial business is energizing this growth to domestic and international clientele. In automobiles, mining, electricity, manufacturing, transportation and other sectors in a highly competitive environment. BPRL has participating interest in 10 blocks located in India and 10 overseas. The total acreage held by BPRL and its subsidiaries is around 23,749 kilometers of which approximately 45% is offshore. To participate in fast-growing gas-based economy, BPCL is expanding its city gas distribution business in 37 geographical areas. Bharat Petroleum embarked upon a comprehensive digitalization journey through Project Anubhav, which enhances business process efficiencies, improves supply chain transparency, bolsters BPCL's marketing skills, and provides unified view of the customer to BPCL. For as the customer changes, so does customer service, as do we at Bharat Petroleum. Bharat Petroleum, a fully integrated multinational energy company, is operating across the hydrocarbon value chain through continuous innovation, emphasis on energy efficiency and environment sustainability. Powered by world-class research and development facilities and experts, Bharat Petroleum is continuously contributing by creating new technologies, niche products and future capabilities for business growth. Bharat Petroleum's group refineries, compliant with all global standards and safety and quality, have a combined capacity of 35.3 mmTPA. With the start of commercial production in propyl and derivative petrochemical complex in Kochi refinery, BPCL joins leaders in the production of niche petrochemicals. Bharat Petroleum's widespread network of fuel stations provides reliability, convenience, and delightful experience to its customers. Enabled with technology, the next-gen Pure for Sure promise extends beyond the quality and quantity assurance into digital offerings, value-added benefits, and futuristic tech-enabled infrastructure. Smokeless villages to cheerful homes. The massive distribution network of Bharat Gas has been a trusted and preferred choice of millions of households, providing LPG for cooking. Bharat Petroleum's world-class range of MAC lubricants for automobiles as well as for industrial applications is one of the most reputed brands. With a strong presence in 12 countries in Asia, Africa Hello. and the Middle East, MAC Lubricants is an undisputed market leader in Nepal, holds highest market share amongst Indian OMCs in Bangladesh and top five lubricant brands in Sri Lanka. Powering global mobility, PPCL Aviation Service is a mark of excellence and trust. PPCL's countrywide storage, filling and distribution infrastructure is equipped with modern technology, latest international safety and environmental certifications. As India is rapidly scaling up to become a self-reliant economy with constant improvement in processes and efficiencies, BPCL's industrial and commercial business is energizing this growth to domestic and international clientele. In automobiles, mining, electricity, manufacturing, 
transportation and other sectors in a highly competitive environment. BPRL has participating interest in 10 blocks located in India and 10 overseas. The total acreage held by BPRL and its subsidiaries is around 23,749 kilometers, of which approximately 45% is offshore. To participate in fast-growing gas-based economy, BPCL is expanding its city gas distribution business in 37 geographical areas. Bharat Petroleum embarked upon a comprehensive digitalization journey through Project Anubhav, which enhances business process efficiencies, improves supply chain transparency, bolsters BPCL's marketing skills, and provides unified view of the customer to BPCL. For as the customer changes, so does customer service, as do we at Bharat Petroleum. Bharat Petroleum, a fully integrated multinational energy company, is operating across the hydrocarbon value chain through continuous innovation, emphasis on energy efficiency and environment sustainability. Powered by world-class research and development facilities and experts, Bharat Petroleum is continuously contributing by creating new technologies, niche products and future capabilities for business growth. Bharat Petroleum's group refineries, compliant with all global standards and safety and quality, have a combined capacity of 35.3 mm TPA. With the start of commercial production in propyl and derivative petrochemical complex in Kochi refinery, BPCL joins leaders in the production of niche petrochemicals. Bharat Petroleum's widespread network of fuel stations provides reliability, convenience, and delightful experience to its customers. Enabled with technology, the next-gen Pure for Sure promise extends beyond the quality and quantity assurance into digital offerings, value-added benefits, and futuristic tech-enabled infrastructure. Smokeless villages to cheerful homes. The massive distribution network of Bharat Gas has been a trusted and preferred choice of millions of households, providing LPG for cooking. Bharat Petroleum's world-class range of MAC lubricants for automobiles as well as for industrial applications is one of the most reputed brands. With a strong presence in 12 countries in Asia, Africa and the Middle East, MAC Lubricants is an undisputed market leader in Nepal, holds highest market share amongst Indian OMCs in Bangladesh and top five lubricant brands in Sri Lanka. Powering global mobility, PPCL Aviation Service is a mark of excellence and trust. PPCL's countrywide storage, filling and distribution infrastructure is equipped with modern technology, latest international safety and environmental certifications. As India is rapidly scaling up to become a self-reliant economy with constant improvement in processes and efficiencies, BPCL's industrial and commercial business is energizing this growth to domestic and international clientele. In automobiles, mining, electricity, manufacturing, transportation and other sectors in a highly competitive environment. BPRL has participating interest in 10 blocks located in India and 10 overseas. The total acreage held by BPRL and its subsidiaries is around 23,749 kilometers, of which approximately 45% is offshore. To participate in fast-growing gas-based economy, BPCL is expanding its city gas distribution business in 37 geographical areas. Bharat Petroleum embarked upon a comprehensive digitalization journey through Project Anubhav, which enhances business process efficiencies, improves supply chain transparency, bolsters BPCL's marketing skills, and provides unified view of the customer to BPCL. For as the customer changes, so does customer service, as do we at Bharat Petroleum.
keep the mobile here or okay A very good afternoon to the secured creditors of Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited as on 30th September 2021. I am Kala V, Company Secretary of Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited. As per the direction of the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, wide order dated 14 February 2022, the meeting of the secured creditors of BPCL as on 30th September 2021 is convened for considering and if thought fit approving with or without modification the scheme of amalgamation of Bharat Oman Refineries Limited with Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited and their respective shareholders. As per the MCA order, this meeting will be chaired by Dr. Navneet Mohan Kothari, Joint Secretary Marketing, Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Further, the meeting is convened and will be conducted as per the provisions of sections 230 to 232 and other applicable provisions of the Companies Act 2013 and the MCA order dated 14th February 2022. The notice convening the meeting was emailed on 16th March 2022 to those secured creditors whose email addresses are available with the company and by speed post or registered post as the case may be to those secured creditors whose email addresses are not available with the company. In view of the ongoing COVID situation and as per the directions of the MCA, this meeting is convened and held through video conferencing facility. Facility for joining the meeting through VC, remote e-voting, etc., has been provided to the secured creditors with the support of National Securities Depository Limited. The remote e-voting facility was available to the secured creditors from Monday, 18th April 2022 to Wednesday, 20th April 2022. The company has also provided webcast facility to view the live proceedings of this meeting on NSDL website. We have provided the facility for voting electronically during the meeting to those who are attending the meeting, but have not cast their votes through remote e-voting prior to the meeting and are otherwise eligible to vote. After the conclusion of the chairperson's briefing, you may proceed to vote on the proposed resolution. The voting window will be available up to 15 minutes after the conclusion of the meeting. The process for login and participating in the meeting was intimated in the notice convening the meeting and the process for e-voting at the meeting was covered in the notice convening the meeting and was also emailed separately. We had also provided the facility for the secured creditors to register themselves to speak during the meeting. Since we have not received any registration, 
the question and answer session will not be there in today's meeting. Before we start the meeting, I would like to take you through certain details regarding your participation in this meeting. The facility of joining this meeting open 30 minutes before the scheduled time of the commencement of the meeting, which is 11.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time. The participants are encouraged to join the meeting through their laptops or desktops with headphones for a better experience and use internet connection with a good speed to avoid any disturbance during the meeting. Since the meeting is being held through VC or OABM, the physical attendance has been dispensed with in terms of the MCA order. Participants other than individuals are required to send legible scanned certified true copy in PDF format of the board resolution or power of attorney or authority letter or trustee to attend the meeting through VC or OABM and participate and cast their votes through e-voting. Documents for inspection as referred to in the notice have been made available electronically for inspection without any fee from the date of circulation of this notice up to the date of the meeting. I would now like to welcome Dr. Navneet Mohan Kothari, Joint Secretary Marketing, Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Chairperson of the meeting. Further, members of our Board of Directors are attending the meeting. Shri Arun Kumar Singh, the Chairman and Managing Director, with additional charge of Director Marketing, is attending the meeting through VC from New Delhi. Shri Gupta Ramakrishna Vetsa, Director of Finance and Chief Financial Officer, with additional charge of Director HR, is attending the meeting from Corporate Office, Mumbai. Shri Gopal Krishna Agarwal, Independent Director and Chairman of the Audit Committee, is attending the meeting through VC from his office at Noida. Professor Bhagwati Prasad Saraswat, Independent Director and Chairman of Nomination and Remuneration Committee, is attending the meeting through VC from his office at Ajmer. Shri Pradeep B. Agarwal, Independent Director, is attending the meeting through VC from his office at Vadodara. Shri Gansham Sher, Independent Director, is attending the meeting through VC from his office at Indore. Dr. Aishwarya Biswal, Independent Director, is attending the meeting through VC from Bhuvaneshwar. The statutory auditors, the secretarial auditors and the cost auditors are also present at the meeting through VC. Participation through VC is being reckoned for the purpose of quorum as per the MCA order dated 14th February 2022. As per the MCA order, the quorum for this meeting is representation of one third of share in terms of value present through VC. I confirm that the requisite quorum is present through VC and I request Dr. Navneet Mohan Kothari, Chairperson, to start the proceedings of the meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Dr. Navneet Mohan Kothari, Joint Secretary Marketing, Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, appointed as the Chairperson by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs to conduct this meeting. I have pleasure in welcoming you to the meeting of the secured creditors as on 30th September 2021 of Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited. I would like to inform you that this meeting is being convened pursuant to the order dated 14 February 2022 of the MCA for the purpose of considering and if thought fit to approve with or without modification the scheme of amalgamation of Bharat Oman Refineries Limited with Bharat Petroleum Corporations Limited and their respective shareholders under Section 230 to 232 and other applicable provisions of the Companies Act 2030. This meeting is being held through video conferencing or other audiovisual media, which is in compliance with the MCA order. Sri Sanjay Khanna, Director Refineries, Sri Harshad Kumar P. Shah, Independent Director, Sri G. Srinivas and Sri Suman Billa, Government Nominee Directors, could not attend the meeting due to their business exigencies and have requested for leave of absence. Shri Harshad Kumar P. Shah, who is the Chairman of the CSR Committee, Risk Management Committee and Stakeholders Relationship Committee, has authorized Shri Gupta Ramakrishna Vetsa, Director of Finance and the member of the said committees to attend the meeting on his behalf. Since the quorum required in terms of the stipulation laid down by the MCA order is present, I am calling this meeting to order. The company has appointed Shri Nrupang Dholakia, designated partner from Dholakia and Associate LLP, Practicing Company Secretaries as the scrutinizer for the meeting. The scrutinizer shall immediately after the conclusion of voting at the meeting 
unblock the votes cast through e-voting at the meeting. The notice dated 24th February 2022, convening this meeting for considering the scheme of amalgamation of Bharat Oman Refineries Limited with Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited has already been circulated and hence with your permission, I take it as read. Bharat Oman Refineries Limited is a wholly owned subsidiary of Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited. Hence, the scheme of amalgamation does not entail any consideration or issue of shares. The rationale for the amalgamation is mentioned in detail on page 2 and page 3 of the scheme, which is annexed to the notice of the meeting. Further, the scheme mentions that the amalgamation is in the interest of the shareholders, creditors and all other stakeholders of the companies and is not prejudicial to the interests of the concerned shareholders, creditors or public at large. Other details of the amalgamation, including details of the companies involved, is covered in the scheme and explanatory statement, which is annexed to the notice convening the meeting, pursuant to the section 102, 230 and 232 of the Companies Act 2013. The resolution in paragraph 2 on page number 2 and 3 of the said notice is being put up for approval of the secured creditors as per the MCA order dated 14 February 2022. As the chairperson of the meeting, I shall submit the result of this meeting to the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. The company had provided the facility for the participants who wish to speak during the meeting to register themselves. Since none of the secured creditors have registered during the period, we do not have any speakers during the meeting. We have discussed the business and the meeting is coming to closure. Thank you once again for attending the meeting. After e-voting is over, consolidated voting results cast through the remote e-voting and e-voting at the meeting. Once finalized, shall be communicated to the stock exchanges and also placed on the company's website within 48 hours of conclusion of the meeting. I would like, like to thank all the directors and secure creditors for attending this meeting. E-voting facility will be open for 15 minutes. I therefore request the secure creditors to cast their votes within 15 minutes. Thank you.